Nestled high in the Andes Mountains in the country of Ecuador, you'll find the Vilcabamba Valley. Birth records maintained by the local Catholic churches confirm that a high percentage of Vilcabambans live well beyond 100 years of age. What makes the Vilcabambans remarkable is that they live free from diseases that are common in Western culture. Diseases like diabetes, heart disease, and cancer are virtually unknown here. Decades of study have led scientists like Dr. Alexander Leaf of Harvard Medical School and medical journalist Dr. Morton Walker to determine that the Vilcabambans' long and healthy lives can be attributed to consuming mineral-rich drinking water and the antioxidant-rich fruits that grow naturally in the valley. The Vilcabambans have been very generous in allowing the rest of the world to have access to their mineral-rich waters and fruits with the highest antioxidant value in the world. By their generosity, they are allowing Via Viente to export health and hope around the world, so we too can live long and healthy lives. The future of the Vilcabamba region is in the hands of its children. To maintain their rich heritage, these children need quality education so they won't have to leave the village in their late teenage years to study in larger cities. Unfortunately, once children leave Vilcabamba to pursue an education, they typically never return to the Sacred Valley. My name is Terry Mink. I am a trustee of the Andes Children's Foundation and led the first two mission trips to Vilcabamba. I have first-hand experience with the needs of the children of the Vilcabamba Valley. The children of Vilcabamba don't suffer from famine or disease. They are some of the healthiest people on earth. However, they are suffering from an antiquated educational system that is unable to provide full educational opportunities. This is because of the limited financial resources of the state-run school system. Teachers in this system who earn about $125 per month frequently go on strike just to earn an additional $10 and the schools do not even have enough school books for the children. Much time is wasted as teachers read from a single copy of a book while the children handwrite everything so they will have something to study. It costs $120 for each child to go to school. This is a small sum to us, but a month's wages to a Vilcabamban family. With no support from the government, it is up to each family to outfit each child with uniforms, shoes, books, pencils, rulers, and other class supplies. Because it is important to give back to these generous people, Via Viente founder and CEO Craig Keelan established the Andes Children's Foundation to serve the children of the area. Craig asked his longtime friend Jaime Mendoza, who Craig calls the ambassador of Vilcabamba, to become the director of the foundation. Craig Keelan explains. The Andes Children's Foundation has been something that we've been able to form uh, from Via Viente because we want to give back to the people of Vilcabamba. And who better to work with than my partner in Vilcabamba, uh, Mr. Jaime Mendoza. The initial work of the foundation began in early 2003 when Craig Keelan traveled to Vilcabamba with a very special donation, the local school's very first computer system. Since that first donation, the Andes Children's Foundation has provided school supplies to more than 10 schools in the area. Computers, TVs with VCRs, and other much-needed technology, including internet access via satellite, have been delivered. The foundation has provided Vilcabamba High School, San Pedro High School, San Pedro Grammar School, and Vilcabamba Girls School with a total of 13 computers and monitors, four complete Spanish-English language translation CD sets, two video projectors, chemistry lab equipment and supplies including seven microscopes, internet access via satellite, two printers and copiers, woodworking tools, one digital camera, three learning centers with 12 headsets in each, teacher training, 150 desks with 300 chairs, and over 2,000 pounds of school supplies. The Andes Children's Foundation stepped in to complete construction of a Montessori school located high in the mountainous region above Vilcabamba for the Vilcabamba's indigenous children who are descendants of the Incas so they could attend school daily in their own community. So much more is needed. Every year, Jaime Mendoza prepares a list of needs and presents the school's request to the foundation. The newly released book, 12 Weeks to Optimum Health, tells the complete story of Vilcabamba. In this book, you'll learn more about the centenarians and the region's antioxidant-rich fruits and mineral-dense water. 
You can order 12 Weeks to Optimum Health by going to www.andyschildrensfoundation.org. A portion of the proceeds from the sale of the book goes to the Andes Children's Foundation. Many Via Viente distribution agents choose to contribute a portion of their Via monthly compensation to support the Foundation's work in Vilcabamba. To begin making monthly donations, visit Via Viente's website to request a donation form. Your help will ensure a strong future for the children of Vilcabamba.